Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lorraine Rimmelin from watercolorartisan.com and today I'm going to be doing the second part of a series I'm putting together on painting a seahorse using mostly negative painting techniques. My first video I showed you the colors I picked out and how they mingle, how I get darks and lights. Now I'm going to do a colorful background using these colors and then I'm going to paint my seahorse over that. Now the value needs to be very, very light. So the colors I'm going to choose, I'm going to add a lot of water to them to keep that value light. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salt to give it a little bit of texture, but I need to wait a minute or so because if you could see how wet this is, and I'll actually let some of it run off so you can see how wet this is. That water will just dilute any salt I put down. So I need to find the moment when the paper is still wet. I don't want to put the salt down and have it bounce around. I want to be able to put the salt down and it sticks in place, but I don't want it to be in such puddles that it's going to really dilute down the salt. I want the salt to, salt to still stay in chunks or in individual little pieces so that it will move the pigment. So I'm just watching, I'm turning my paper so that I can see the amount of water. I'll let a little more of it drip down. And it is very light, so I'm not gonna get a tremendous amount of texture from the salt. Not only because the value isn't gonna change so dramatically. So I just put a little bit of kitchen table salt in my hand and I'm going to just sprinkle it lightly. And again, only because it is so light, you can see it actually doing something. But sometimes if I do this with a, a, a darker color, it's much more dramatic. But let's, I just added a little salt right through here and I'm going to let this dry, remove the salt, and then I'm going to start the actual um, outline in negative painting of the seahorse I'm going to be painting. From these colors, diluted down to the lightest value, I've achieved this wash. You can also see where I have added some salt because the value is so light in this wash. It hasn't created a tremendous amount of texture, but you can see coming through here where I put the salt, a slight amount of texture. So now that everything is dry, I can start to outline and negative paint the actual seahorse itself. First thing I'm thinking about is the head. I'm gonna start up high. I wanna make sure I have enough room for the beautiful tail that curls around. I don't have to make myself so crazy at this point over um, every single little shape because I'm gonna be able to do a lot of that when I get into the actual um, body and colors of the seahorse. Now you can see how light that is, but you can also see where the seahorse is starting to show up. So really soft. I, have, I keep a clean brush of just water in my hand to pull this away. And I'm just going to come down and find that nice, I don't know if you call it a nose, um, a mouth. I think it's the nose of this cute little animal. Mm. 
And I'm just going to continue. I love that these colors right here. So truthfully, I'm just going to skip it. I'm going to come down and start his back over here. And he has a little bit of a gel here. And then he comes up under his chin. And then he starts to come out with his belly. So you can see I'm just giving myself an outline, an idea of where this pretty little seahorse is going to sit within my painting. Okay. A little bit of clean water. You could see I'm not looking to say a lot at this point. I'm looking to just get a little ghost of a shape down. You see, I lost an edge there. And then I'm coming back, putting an edge here. I'm doing it really, really soft. This way I have a lot of room to make changes. Now my favorite, I love the tail. There's something just so beautiful about that tail. Okay, continuing with this beautiful tail of the seahorse, which is now going to swing around. and curl up into that beautiful little point. Okay. So far, this is not difficult. So far, I know you could have a lot of fun doing this, you know, and just practice. Just practice, have fun. But I'm painting it right over the wash. So look how beautiful what's in my wash shows through. And if you want to know really why I don't do this with a pencil, because when I put a pencil in my hand, and some of you will agree and some of you will not even understand, but when I put a pencil in my hand, my brain starts to react to my lack of drawing skills. And my brain starts to yell at me and say, what are you doing? You're not good at drawing. But when I put the brush in my hand, my brain gets confused. And my brain doesn't realize that I'm going to use my paintbrush and do a little drawing. Also, by using my paintbrush, it allows me to not feel that I'm just painting the outline of this image. It lets me feel like I'm just working on a painting. I know, please, let me know I'm not crazy. I know some of you feel the same. And now I'm just bringing a little color through. You know, at this part, just have a little fun with it. I'm now looking to cover how beautiful and soft my original wash is. I'm just looking to emphasize a tiny bit the fact that there is some color and it helps pop out this image I'm working on. But you could see through here, through here, over here, it's all just soft. And I'll make sure this stays really soft right down here. So I'm losing edges and I'm creating edges in different places. Um, so far, I really like this. I need to, once again, let this dry and then I'm going to come back in the next video and I'm going to show you how I start to create more of the body of the seahorse using negative painting. So far, I've showed you how I negative paint around the edge to create the image. And not every inch of it, but there's enough image there that's going to get me started. Next, we're going to start working on creating the image of the body of the seahorse. So... Please like below, subscribe to my channel, and look for my next video, which will be coming really soon, the continuing of the seahorse painting. You have a great day and happy painting.